all agree that the phrase for kids of all ages needs to be permanently retired from use. To be fair though, there's something special about a thing being made for a kid and all their innocence that can still appeal to us grown-ups. Often, it's just that these, in this case, games, tap into something silly deep down inside that we really all enjoy. This week we're looking at the five best kids games that us adults can get into as well. And I can assure you, silliness played a large part in our selection process. I'll be honest, I've never actually played this game with kids before. It gets played all the time here at the cafe, and it's one of our guru's favorite games to recommend to kids, and it almost always goes over really well. I just can't speak to that experience. With a group of adults, however, I can assure you there would be a fair bit of laughing involved in a game of Magic Labyrinth. In this one, you play a young wizard in training, and you're trying to make your way across a gridded board to be the first to get your hands on a magic token. But watch out, the instructors have put up invisible walls, and every time you turn into one, you have to go back to where your piece started the game. What makes this game so easy to laugh at is the fact that everyone's going to hit a wall at least one or a few times, making it just a bit easier for us all to laugh at the person who hits the wall about seven or eight times. The first five and five game that's even older than your host is coming in here at number four with Fireball Island. This Milton Bradley classic is in many ways your standard roll and move old school game, but the components and fireball mechanic are what truly take this game to the next level. Wait, what's that you said? What's this fireball mechanic I'm talking about? Well, in this game, you're each playing adventurers trying to get your hands on a magical tiki idol at the top of Volcano. But both the idol and the volcanic events around the island will occasionally spit fireballs at you which is actually a marble that kind of rolls down the lanes of the board, and if it hits your character piece, it moves them back. Really, when you see a group of adults sitting in tense silence around a 3D game board with a plastic tiki idol, and then see that same group explode with laughter as a marble takes out one or more of their player pieces, the only word to describe it is fun. This is another game that counts on the fact that if you're sitting around chatting with your friends, maybe having a drink, probably aren't going to remember things too well. <laughs> In this game, you play children trying to sneak your way up stairs of a haunted house to scare the ghost at the top. Be careful though, the ghost is trying to turn each kid into ghosts too. And when you become a ghost, you have to cover your piece with this little ghost shell that goes over it. Meaning once there are multiple ghosts on the board, you'll have to remember which one you are or risk accidentally moving your opponents closer to the finish line. While all of the games in this list so far have clearly been aimed at children, this is probably the most silly game. In this one, you each play a farmer, trying to protect your chickens from Louie, the out-of-control pilot flying his plane over your barns. This is simulated with a motorized pole in the middle of the board, at the end of which are Louie and his plane. As he flies in circles, he'll hit and take out your chickens if you don't use the little paddle you have to hit the wing of the plane and knock it over your barn. Last one with any chickens left wins, and clearly, the chickens always lose. What makes Loop and Louie so much fun is that it evokes that same tactile satisfaction that you get from old nickel arcades and pinball machines. Getting that distinct feeling of your paddle knocking the out-of-control aircraft away from your poor defenseless chickens really takes you back. Some of you out there might think this is a bit of a cop-out because, really, Sorry Sliders is a tabletop mix of curling and shuffleboard. Yours truly is bar game of choice. To be fair, shuffleboard is one of the most popular lounge games in the world, but I digress. In Sorry Sliders, you are pushing ball-bearing equipped Sorry pieces towards a center scoring board. The closer to the center your piece is at the end of the round, the more points it's worth. Just like in curling, each player or team goes back and forth sending their pieces sliding down the board giving each an opportunity to use their own piece to knock the opponents um, around the board and hopefully farther from the center, not only ensuring your own victory, but of course, 
the ire of your fellow players. Well, that's it for our list and our video. Don't forget to leave us any questions, omissions, or grievances in the comments below, or as always, you're free to come down to the cafe and yell at us in person or try any of these great games. Thanks for watching, and as always, game on.